Roxanne, I I want to talk about this email that you sent me. And you sent me a note. My kid had a lockdown drill. Yeah. And you find it sad. I I know it's necessary. I, I was more intrigued with... What they tell the kids yeah, they're locking down for? It's uh, true. Re- really? It's true. All right, you, you didn't make this up? No. All right. So Roxanne's oldest daughter is 41. All right. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> all right, all right. Ro- Roxanne's oldest daughter marriage. is five. Uh-huh. And she's in kindergarten, right? Yes. She started kindergarten. Yes. And her school does lockdown drills. They do. And they seem to do quite a few of them. Yeah, I mean, fairly regularly. And you I, get a message as a parent before the lockdown drill that it's going to happen. And you're telling me what you emailed me One, last night. This is 100% right? 100% right. Yeah. At five years old, they tell the kids that this is a lockdown drill because they're just making the kids aware and ready and prepared for when a lion escapes from the zoo. Yeah, what? That's, Why that's would what, they? What? That's what they tell. I, listen, that's my what they're telling. Yeah. They're telling you. So your kindergartner thinks that there's a chance that a lion is going to escape from the zoo, and that's why they're going into their lockdown drill mode? She she tells me exactly what they do. She goes through the whole, all the steps, and you stop what you're doing immediately. You don't put your stuff away, and then you, you know, walk over here because, you know, if a lion escapes from the zoo, you can't, you know, you you don't want a, the lion to know you're in that room. All right, so wait a minute. They're not telling the kids that this is a lockdown because of bad people or no. bad guys or whatever. They're saying... That's the way they condition these kids. Okay, a lion has escaped from the zoo. We have to do a drill and prepare for this uh, potential uh, potential event. I think they also pepper in the bad person, the yeah, bad okay. guy. So my son is in kindergarten also, and in VPK last year, mm-hmm. he came home and told me rhinoceros. They had no. They, he said <laughs> no. He said, "Daddy, I knew about the lockdown drill." Okay, so I asked him right. about it, and I go, "Why did you do that?" And Jeffrey he, Dahmer? He said the bad man. Oh, oh he said the he bad said, man. Yeah, when the if if there's a bad man at school. Do you think that Or a lion. Or a lion. I would rather they have told my son a lion's going to escape from the zoo <laughs> instead of yeah. him thinking but, a bad man's gonna come to his school. But does that jade kids to thinking that they're looking for escape dangerous zoo animals versus right. a bad man? Maybe it's not the right thing. Maybe you need to tell the kids from the beginning that some people are bad. Maybe I, I think what it is. Maybe is, you're not <laughs> properly educating and training the kids if they're looking for escaped zoo animals. You know, I'm Principal Joe Exotic. I, I think didn't, it, didn't Curious George once open the cages and let all the animals did. out? Yeah, that's, right? there's a book is, about that. Isn't that a book? And yes. they went right to the elementary school. <laughs> they, they, went right, they went right to uh, Roxanne's kids' school. <laughs> all right. I can just imagine next time we're at Zoo Tampa or Bush Gardens, boy, they better be doing a good job keeping these lions locked up. You know, shove up my school. I think at four, five, and six years old, seven years old, I just want them to act a certain way after they're instructed to. Not necessarily need to know that, you know, there's nut bags with guns going into schools. Yeah, you know, you know, yeah. My, uh... my kid knew she was the first time she told me about it. She said, "Yeah, that." It's it's for bad guys or for lions, escaped lions, and she goes. But I think it's kind of more for bad guys. Like she's a little bit onto it, but this, but they keep trying to feed the lion stuff. Yeah. So, so Monday she told me about lions. Let's or, watch some Nat Geo stuff, and I'll scare the hell out of it. By her. any chance, mm-hmm. are they having the kids chant lions and tigers and bears? Oh my! No, don't say a word. We what? don't want the lion to know you're in the room. <laughs> no, they just sing in the middle of the night. No, no, be quiet. <laughs> Shut up. Shut lions up. and tigers and bears. Oh my! Why did you say there are big monsters and trolls outside? Like an M. Night Shyamalan Listen, movie. I think Jeffrey Dahmer. I'm telling you, with the success of the Netflix series. Yeah. There's a man-eating cannibal outside, children. It, exactly. And he, he might try to pick you up at a bar. I think that's great for five-year-olds to have to yeah. understand that. No, there, no, It's I, a great area where they, some of them are more aware and some of them aren't. Yeah, I don't think that they're doing a service to the kids by... Having the kids think that there's an escaped lion yeah, versus a bad man yeah, or, I, or bad person. But more beyond the words a bad person, I don't want them to get any more detail into it. I, I'll scar the kids the other way. Exactly. I'd rather them fear African prairie animals. How about uh, gazelles? Yes. Gazelles they, are harmless. Dude, <laughs> I'm kidding. So beautiful. Dude, unless they charge you. Yeah. 
You get a gazelle horn up the, you know what? It's not, it's not pretty. Exactly. <laughs>